Hello and welcome to a demonstration of EPA's free online tool, the Energy Star Portfolio Manager Data Explorer. This tool allows you to filter and analyze data from more than 100,000 properties. Today, you'll learn how to navigate the Data Explorer. We'll walk through each feature, including energy metrics, data viewing options, and filters. Information regarding the Data Explorer can be found on the landing page, energystar.gov slash data explorer. This page describes the tool, outlines some potential use cases, and gives information about the source data. It also provides helpful resources, such as the user guide and technical reference. You can also access the link to the tool itself from here. The Data Explorer contains data from Energy Star Portfolio Manager, the industry's standard tool for benchmarking energy use. Portfolio Manager holds data on physical and operational building characteristics, as well as energy usage data for hundreds of thousands of buildings. The Data Explorer has three panes, which we'll walk through one at a time. On the left, you'll see Show Me, Viewed As, and filtered by. This left-hand pane is where you'll customize your query. In the Show Me section, you can select which metric to display and analyze in the center pane. There are four Energy Use Intensity, or EUI, metrics from which to choose. Site and Source EUI, as well as Weather Normalize Site and Source EUI. You can also select Energy Star Scores or percent electricity. Notice the glossary icon that appears next to certain items. This is shown by an open book with the letters A and Z. Clicking the icons will open a new tab to bring you to each term's entry in the Portfolio Manager glossary. In the Viewed As section, you can select whether you'd like to see the results in a chart or a table. If you select Chart, you can choose Bar Chart or Box and Whisker Plot. If you select Table, you can choose various statistics seen here to be displayed. Note that when you view your results as a chart, all of these statistic options are present in a Box and Whisker Plot, but only medians will be displayed in Bar Charts. You can also filter the data by Year, Property Type, Gross Floor Area, Location, Energy Star Certification Status, Year Built, and Weekly Operating Hours. As you adjust your selections, the results in the center pane will update live. The filters on the right-hand side will also update, allowing you to see all the filters you've applied. To demonstrate this, first select a year to display. Next, filter for specific property types. Note the caret next to each property type category. Click on this to reveal subcategories that you can select or unselect. Also note that these selection boxes include a search bar that will narrow the list as demonstrated here. The gross floor area filter acts in a similar way. When filtering for location, select one location category and continue to filter the subcategories with the search and select box. There are three options for location, state, CBSA, and climate zone. The tool uses micropolitan and metropolitan statistical areas, also known as CBSAs, as defined by the United States Office of Management and Budget. It also uses IECC climate zones, which are geographical regions that are determined by things like temperature and moisture. Next, you can choose to search among Energy Star certified buildings, non-certified buildings, or both. The final two filters allow you to select all, one, or multiple ranges under Year Built and Weekly Operating Hours. Under each filter category, you'll see a Clear Selection button, which allows you to clear each individual category selection at any time. In the center pane, you'll see the results with the filters applied. The metric you selected will appear at the top, followed by the number of properties that the data represents as a range. Displaying ranges rather than exact values helps us maintain data anonymity. 
In a table, if the number of results for a row is five or fewer, the result will display a dash rather than a value. If there are zero results for a given aspect of the query, no results will display. If you're viewing as a table, you can organize the data by choosing a metric to display first by and then by. The then by dropdown is optional and provides more granularity. For example, as seen here, you may want to view data for each property type within each state with state selected as display first by and then by property type. If you're viewing as a chart, then by is not available. Because there are hundreds of CBSAs, you can select CBSA to display first by, but cannot further group it with the then by drop down menu. CBSA also can't be selected under the then by menu if something else has been chosen in display first by. The right hand pane of the data explorer displays the portfolio manager glossary, the question mark or help icon, data download options, and the list of applied filters for easy reference. The glossary icon here, shown by the book with the letters A and Z, will bring you to the beginning of the Portfolio Manager glossary. Again, clicking on any of the glossary icons elsewhere in the tool will bring you directly to a specific entry. Select the Download button on the top right-hand corner to download your results. You can choose from Excel, CSV, or JSON file types. If you choose Excel, your selected filters will be displayed in a separate sheet alongside your data. If you select CSV or JSON, your filters will download as a second markdown file that can be opened using a text editor or a program like Notepad. The question mark or help icon provides links to three additional background information pages on this tool and portfolio manager. The final resource seen here is an in-app tour. This walks through most of the content discussed in this video. Lastly, the list of applied filters shows you at a glance what you have selected in your query. It updates live as you make changes in the left-hand filter pane. If you would like to reset all filters back to the defaults in one click, you can use the button here. This concludes our demonstration of the Data Explorer. For more information on how to use the tool, check out the Data Explorer user guide. And for technical details, download the Data Explorer technical reference or read our FAQ, How Does the Data Explorer Compare to CBEX? If you're not able to find the information you're looking for, please contact the help desk. Thank you.